Good morning. I will talk about uh, neoplasms in, in outpatient conditions. So malignant cutaneous neoplasms are most widespread type, and the number is growing. I would like to talk about the basic malignant uh, lesions. These are basal cellular uh, squamous carcinoma. Talking about risk factors, we should refer ultraviolet radiation, ionizing radiation, chronic injuries, immune suppressions, uh, syndrome of dysplastic nevus. In 2014, there was meta-analysis of thousands of works indicating to the role of uh, solariums in the development of cutaneous cancer, including melanoma. As to non-invasive diagnostics, we have to go from simplest to the most difficult. Diagnostic starts with uh, examination and history. Basal cell local sonoma is most widespread, although it has low metastatic capacity, but invasiveness and aggressiveness are typical. Clinical presentation of uh, uh, squamous carcinoma sh shows that a lot depends on aggressive nature, and melanoma ranks first in mortality among all malignant lesions of skin. While examining a patient, we have to look at the syndrome of uh, the ugly duck, where there is difference from nervous phenotype. A, B, C, D, E rule is important. Doctors should pay attention to changes of the color, margins, asymmetry. Dermatoscopy is a good instrument which helps to identify typical structural elements for basal, cellular, squamous, carcinoma, and melanoma. To make this dermatoscopic picture more objective, they develop indexes. For example, Stolz index. You see clinical example, a pigment uh, lesions, uh, here you see a two and eight axis. Uh, they calculate number of colors and typical dermatoscopic structures are evaluated for certain part, subtype. Here, dermatoscopic index is 7.9. It can be melanoma. Dermatoscopic index is not a single approach. There is a cash algorithm or seven point checklist. Additional method to diagnose uh, cutaneous neoplasm is method of spectrophotometric intradermal scanning. We can assess accumulation of melanin, collagen at the depth of two millimeters. There is a diagnostic algorithm, although it has a smaller sensitivity. Let us look at NCC and guidelines. Biopsy rings first. Squamous cell carcinoma. It's bare biopsy, melanoma biopsy. What are the main types? Shave, pipe, and excision biopsies. For pigment neoplasms, uh, shave biopsy is not applicable because it can change the thickness, which is important to diagnose melanoma. Such types of uh, biopsy are used for the nails. Several studies were made to show that excision biopsy doesn't influence overall and relapse-free survival. There is another. Uh, means cytological confirmation. Of course, sensitivity and specificity will be lower versus cytological verification. But it will allow to immediately start treatment of malignant lesion. Uh, treatment of uh, non-melanocystic uh, 
a malignant lesion uh, is shown here as to melanoma treatment. Treatment is based on sickness, but simple cross-section is not enough. If we obtain melanoma more than 0 0.8 millimeters thick, we have to discuss uh, biopsy of uh, sentinel lymph nodes. Biopsy of sentinel lymph node helps to influence survival. It helps to timely administer adjuvant therapy. In 2018, Abziva Yolomab was approved to treat metastatic melanoma. The mel uh, procedure has two stages. On the first stage, either tracer or certain uh, stain agent is introduced. If there was uh, a tracer effect, uh, aspect CT is made, and um, or clinical exam case, 49-year-old patient. Melanoma of the skin of anterior abdominal wall, outflow of lymph goes bilaterally according, and, and it's important, biopsy of central lymph nodes is delayed. Of course, it is confirmed by randomized trials, which show that up to 90-day delay doesn't influence general metastatic survival. It doesn't influence the status of leaf node. Summing up the results, I have to say the diagnostics and treatment of cutaneous neoplasms doesn't end up with non-invasive diagnostics. We can make biopsy excision and biopsy of sentinel lymph nodes for in hospital surgery, lymph dissection, and regional chemoperfusion are recommended. Thank you.